Hello everyone, and welcome back to LEGO Races. Right, so if you remember last time, um, we defeated Blackbeard, uh, not Blackbeard, Redbeard, and uh, and we got his car set, and now we've got uh, this guy, whose name escapes me, King Kahooka, I think it was. Anyway, since we've got a new car set, I think we should probably build a new car. So, uh, let's make a new racer. I think he should probably be uh, piratical to some extent. You can see we've got a couple of new faces now. Uh, you know what? Uh, I think we'll probably go to Robot Pirate Island for this one. Uh, <laughs> that works. Yeah! Right, let's make a license. Can't put hyphens in there. Oh well. There we go. Hmm. Not really any piratey faces. We'll just leave it with that one. Right. Let's build a car and let's start with Blackbeard's base here. So it's quite big. It's quite good for building on. So look at some of the new piratey parts we've got. <laughs> so we've got some barrels here. Barrels of rum, I assume. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe we should have one of those. Maybe it'd be full of um, oil if it's a robot, I suppose. <laughs> uh, we gotta have a parrot. We've gotta have a parrot, surely. Could I have a parrot somewhere? Uh, I guess. Right, we'll leave the parrot till later. Can we. Let's stick two of these on. Now we're going to use them as thrusters. And yeah, that looks pretty. <laughs> that looks safe. <laughs> Muskets. No. I think it's about time for the parrot now. So, is this going to fit? I suppose it'll fit on the side. Yeah. Well, traditionally, I guess they're perched on the pirate's shoulder, so. Let's put him back here. somehow give that impression. Okay, yes it's going to be asymmetrical and yes it is setting up my OCD. But uh, we'll have to deal with that for now. <laughs> for the sake of a parrot. So let's put this here as well. I think I don't know. Do we need a bag? I guess. It looks okay anyway, because it sticks about it sticks out about the same amount as the parrot. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I need a flag. Where's that gonna fit? Oh right, on top of that. Uh, no, but let's let's have do we have any space flags? Spacey flags. So we can have one space flag and one pirate flag. Can we have an antenna. We have like a moon flag or something. Uh, no, apparently not. Well, we'll have one of these symbolise the robotness, and then we can have the Jolly Roger on the other side. Is that not going to fit? Oh, maybe no. No, it doesn't want to. All right then. Well. Oh, it's because of the pi uh, it's because of the parrot. Well, I'll tell you one thing. We can just move this off. We actually need to turn this thing around. There we go. And we can move this forward this way so it doesn't clash with the parrot. So that's on that side. And then we can have a piratical Jolly Roger on the other side. Yes, there we go. Absolutely beautiful. I think we can call that done. <laughs> Looks ridiculous, but uh, that's what we're all about here. So, I might take this for a quick test drive. Let me show you the test drive track. It's, um, it's pretty basic. You get this um, kind of circuit, just a basic racing circuit with the, uh, the ramp sides. I'm not sure what you call them. I think there's a specific name for them. Uh, so it makes it easier to, to turn the corner. Uh, so 
so you got that. All these power-ups everywhere, and then there's like a... Oops, I totally missed that. There's an off-road track down here. So that's pretty cool. And you can... I mean, there's no one to test the weapons against, but... Just have a try with all the items. Have a go at the ridiculous power sliding. Mess around with this. There are a couple of light bricks around as well, but yeah, this thing seems to. Uh, I'm not sure how the handling actually differs with these things. Um, we have no speedometers, so. Uh, <laughs> there's very little way to tell how much better it's doing than any of your other cars. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably enough test driving for now. Can go back in here. There we go. Okay. So now we should be ready to face King Kahuka. Okay, so we've got our car. Let's race. So here we are, the second second course. Let's go. Me, King Kahuka, beat you like tribal drum. I think that's how his voice probably goes. And do victory dance, Oka Ukuk. That's, uh, I think that's a bit more of an accurate representation. But, um, yeah, here we go. Now, this is quite the difficult course. Crocodiles. Anything but the crocodiles. Okay. Let's. Uh, <laughs> oh yes, excellent. This is this thing. Whatever the heck this is. Oh my gosh, major damage. Uh, right. Now, the thing is with this one, none of the tracks are super hard, but they're all kind of they're all kind of at the same medium difficulty level, so, wow, <laughs> that was an accurate shot, although I think they do help to some extent. Uh, now, yeah, so they're all kind of at the same difficulty level, which is mediocre, so if, if you lose bad on one, it's very difficult to catch up on others because there isn't much of a gradient. Come on, I've got to catch up to Kihoka. Come on, let's go to Blue Shield and then look. I'll get you. <laughs> There you go. Come here. Bash. Well, it just pushed him further, but he likes his shields, doesn't he? Ah, uh, sweet. Ah, there we go. Blam. Let's hope he actually got hit like that. Oh dear, he's behind me. Oh no. This is going to be close, because he's just shielding like a boss here. Look at him go. Blam. Gotcha. Oh, damn it. He got me. No. Oh, no. Gotcha. Take that. Oh. Ownage. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, that's the first victory. That's 30 points, apparently. I'm not sure why there's such a massive gradient like that, getting 30 points, and like in Mario Kart where you only got 10 when you win. But, uh, well, let's, uh, cut the rubbish. Ah, and this is what I mean, all the levels are kind of difficult. I don't look at anything. Aha. Uh -huh. Still in front, thankfully. I'm just going to put the shield up because I don't want people doing nasty things to me. Ah. Oh, a hammer. Alright. I'm okay. Damn it. That green one could save me. Now, I wonder if I can get a teleport at any point. I might be able to if I got that brick. Yes, that is the third... Ah. The third strength power up when you... How does he get in front so quickly? Yeah. 
here. When you when you get three white bricks and a green, you get a teleport, which is just it, it sounds a little OP for a racing game, and it is. So yeah, not the hammer. All right. Well, I seem to be catching up just driving. Really, I mean, this isn't actually as bad as I thought it might be. Although it was very close last time, so we'll just have to be a little bit careful. Won't we? Shields up! There we go. Come on, we got him. Yeah. Oh, he's got it as well. Though. You know, I think I think the bosses might be slightly faster. I'm not sure. Oh, damn it! Textbook mistake. Right. That hammer never really seems to do anything. I think it's just there for show. Lol. Oh, that was speed. Oh my gosh. And there we go. Won the second round. Haha. <laughs> so that's putting us in a very good position. I think that's 60 points overall. Yeah. Match. <laughs> and yes. That's foreshadowing for the next course, which I find particularly hard. Nice planet pathway. Thankfully, we get the boost start all the time, which is good, nice and consistent, but it's, it's a very difficult course. However, if I play it well, I might be able to get the teleport and get really far ahead. Alternatively, I could explode everyone. To doing, although no. Teleport, here we go. And there it is. Into first, everybody. What do you think of that? Now, from first glance, there, that might seem very, very OP. That, uh, that teleport. It's not once you get into some of the later levels. In fact, you actually need to spam it in the later levels if you, if you can. Especially in the last rocket racer. Um, now, you probably haven't seen the intro to this, uh, well, people who haven't played it before obviously won't have. Um, so I will actually, I will find it on YouTube, I'm sure it's uploaded somewhere, and I will link you to a video uh, as the intro, because I don't really want to use, I don't want to use other content, you know, that's not me playing the game, because I find that's kind of taking the mickey. But, yes, but nevertheless, if it's uploaded, there it is. So I will link you to it in the description and you'll be able to watch the intro, which shows the thin backstory. <laughs> it's fun though. It's a fun, uh, fun little skit, if you call it that. Alrighty. Now, I would boost, but... Oh, the only corner you can drift around properly in this game. <laughs> And that's us over the line again, so we are in pretty good standing for the last race. I think we could, we could do this easily. This is actually the best I've played in a while. So yeah, I think we're definitely um, getting the right power-ups. Now, here we go. This one's a bit of a crazy one. Um, <laughs> There's not much more to be said about it than that. It's just kind of this Aztec temple thingy. Uh, no doubt everyone will be on the back now, so better collect all of these. And you get this weird backwards flowing waterfall. Oh my gosh, the double double boosters that actually let you fly. That's so cool. Um, I mean, the teleport's like the, the best version, but that's definitely the coolest thing. Double jets. Oh, man. All right, shields up. Thank you. I'll be taking that. Now I believe there is a shortcut here. And I think it does take us off road for quite a bit, but it gives us a white, which is nice. Now then, let's see if we can get really far. For, no. Okay. Didn't quite catch that white break there, but we get the awesome. Jet boosters again. Oh, the physics is so wonderful. <laughs> so, moving on, let's grab this and have another shield. 
and we actually slowed down for a second there. But as you can see by the mini-map down there in the bottom right, we are well ahead. On lap two, one more to go. Now let's see if we can get that teleport before this race is out. Hopefully we haven't fallen too far behind. And they're off. Now I'm going to just go straight for this and... Kabalamo! Yes! I am so far ahead. Woo! Just keep getting those shields up basically. It's just a case of defend. Defensive driving. Only one will do for now. And I cross the line. First all four races. Kinkuka was seemingly easier than Redbeard. And yeah. So he was. He was close-ish behind, but 120 points, no one's going to argue with that. Let's get out of here. And so, now, our prize. Let's see if he's got the same animation as uh, Redbeard. Yeah, I think he does. <laughs> he's probably smiling, but you can't really see it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we've unlocked a new circuit and uh, obviously Kahuka's parts and Basil the Batlord's track. Let's have a look at that for a second. Here we go. <laughs> Night Marathon, Pirate School Pass, Adventure Temple Trail and an Alien Rally Asteroid. So that's going to be an interesting one. Basil is insanely cool. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Uh, don't forget to like and leave a comment and subscribe if you like this video. I'll see you next time.